Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Rangers of the Universe. I'm Chris and in this video I will be reviewing our fan stream that we had today, Monday, April 17th. So it has been exactly three months since our last fan Power Rangers fan stream. And this time we had Emily Bader back to the brand and she led it with Jarrett and John Warden. They assisted her with it. Jordan Liv was unable to work on the panel with them. He was busy with other things, but he was in a short segment of it with Emily. Now, starting off, it was a very good length. We had 12 reveals in total. It was, I think, our largest reveal total to date. Now, starting off with it, we had the introduction of Wave 15. Now, this is a uh, big change to Lightning Collection. This is very different from anything we've ever had before. Now, waves are usually four figures. This wave is a total of three figures. There's only three of them, and it's three new seasons. So these are also seasons that we have not yet seen in Lightning Collection. Now, in this wave 15 of three new teams, we have, starting off, the first one was Turbo Red. The Red Turbo Ranger TJ version. So for Turbo, there's obviously two versions of red, green, yellow, and pink. For Red Ranger, they're starting off with TJ. So the TJ figure comes with both of the swords, his the regular red lightning one, and then the normal turbo sword that they have as a sword effect piece and TJ head sculpt. Now Next figure of, I'm going to talk about the head sculpts at the end. I'm going to go over all three figures of this wave first. Now, the second one is Summer Lansdown from Power Rangers RPM. This figure is one I am extremely happy about because RPM and Lost Galaxy are my top two favorite seasons. So for RPM to finally be joining the line on its fifth year is absolutely fantastic that it's finally here. and. You know, my favorite Ranger from RPM is Dylan RPM, Ranger Operator Series Black. But Summer is a very close second, so I'm so happy to see Ranger Operator Series Yellow joining the line. And she comes with her Summerlands Down Rose McIver head sculpt, as well as the sword and blaster weapons that they use. She does not come with her very own personal weapon. Which is unfortunate. I would have loved to see. Uh, I forget the name of it. Her little yellow car one. But I absolutely would have loved to see that. As part of it. She also comes just like TJ. A sword effect piece. And the interchangeable hands. They all come with the interchangeable hands. That's a go to with lighting collection. They always get that. And some kind of effect piece. So next is Chad. The Lightspeed Rescue Blue Ranger. Now, he comes with the head sculpt, interchangeable hands, and the sword and blaster that the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers, they all use. No, it's not the, I think it's the Dermal Blaster. I know it's not the big V-Lancers. They don't come with those, but I think they're called Dermal Blaster. So, comes with that. Those are the, and his is also a sword effect piece. Now, all three figures of Wave 15 are currently available on all major retailers, so Amazon, Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. All of them, they're currently up there for pre-order for October 1st of this year. Could come earlier, could be delayed later, but that's the date they are currently set for. Now, of the three head sculpts, the InSpace TJ one was definitely much better than the Turbo. It's not a bad one, it's okay. Summer lands down. The Rose McIver one, they hit that out of the park. That is, in my opinion, one of the best head sculpts we have gotten to date. And probably the best female head sculpt we've gotten by this point. I mean, they did utterly fantastic with that one. I absolutely love it. They did it very much justice. Now, the Chad one, that's, that's rough. That's a rough head sculpt. I do not like that one. I don't think that's really... All that likeness to him, especially in the nose area. I think it looks pretty messed up. But, I mean, I don't display with the head sculpts on them. So, that doesn't really bother me if it comes with bad head sculpts. 
personally, I've already put in my pre-order for summer. TJ and Chad, I might. I mean, those are two seasons that I don't really care for. But definitely putting in my pre-order for summer. I might pick up the other two when they're on sale at some point. But go ahead, go online, put in your pre-orders for those. Now, those are the only things currently available for pre-order today as in Monday. Now, next on to the reveals, we had more Cobra Kai. So, back when Cobra Kai was initially announced, Loretta had said Eagle Fang was on the way. And today we saw the morphed boar ranger, Johnny Lawrence, the black ranger, and the morphed eagle ranger, Miguel Diaz. So, there are two more in the Cobra Kai line already with Daniel, Samantha, and the Scalaputty, which check out my review on Daniel and Samantha. They're both up. Absolutely love the figures. So those are the five Cobra, Cobra Kai figures. Now, I uh, they said that's the end of it, but I feel like it's definitely something that can be revisited. I'm going to do a video talking about that when the others come out in hand. I'm going to do more in depth about that because... You know, I definitely think there's a possibility that more could happen in the future. But Johnny and Miguel are both here. You know, they come with the fully masked head and then the actor likeness head to um, Sholo and William Zabka. So it comes with their likeness head sculpts. And then their Ninjetti sculpt is without the sleeves. So it's a brand new arm Ninjetti sculpt. And then they both come with a punching effect piece. So that's both of those figures. That is more Cobra Kai. Something a lot of people skip out on. And they're Target exclusive with a shared amount on Hasbro Pulse. And they will be up for pre-order on Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you love the first two Cobra Kai figures that have already shipped from Hasbro Pulse, I'd say go ahead, put in your pre-orders for those. I'm definitely going to because I'm a huge fan of Cobra Kai. Now, onto the big main event section we had it. First, well, they did a uh, quick costume change and toss some cool MMPR hoodies. We got an exclusive clip of Money Morph and Power Rangers Once and Always Reunion Special. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I think it's going to be a fantastic special. Clip looks amazing, but head on back to the figures because next was the MMPR section. And right when it panned back to them, we saw remastered red, green, pink, and black. And they all look absolutely fantastic. I mean, these figures, I think the remastered idea of it, you know, celebrating the 30th anniversary, giving us new figures, especially in earlier waves. A lot of the head sculpts were, it was the testing phase, I'd say, the first few waves where, you know, they were getting used to trying to make it as accurate as possible. And a lot of the earlier waves, the head sculpts aren't the greatest and they're more on the rough end, especially Kimberly's Wave 2 Mighty Morphin Pink Head. That was a definitely butchered one, but I mean, seeing it now this kimberly head sculpt looks absolutely fantastic i be on love that head sculpt i think they did phenomenal and they definitely did a 180 on the first kimberly head sculpt amy joe johnson like miss head sculpt that we had gotten even the walter jones zach taylor one looks much better and going back to remastered blue and yellow which ship on hasbro which are in stock on Hasbro Pulse starting the 18th tomorrow at the time of recording this video. So I did order both of them. I'll have review videos coming of them once I get them in hand. I mean, David Yoss, Die Train, those head sculpts looked absolutely fantastic, new and improved. And so does the Jason David Frank, Tommy Oliver one that we can see right there on the Green Ranger. It looks absolutely fantastic. Now, the elephant in the room that wasn't really addressed during the stream, but obviously we see head sculpts there for Tommy, Kimberly, and Zach. There's still remastered Mighty Morphin Red that we did see out there on the table. He did not have his head sculpt on him. Neither did Kimberly, but we got a shot of her with it on, and you saw the Amy Jo Johnson Kimberly head sculpt right there on the table. 
there is no Austin St. John head sculpt. That is not there with the figure. Jason is not coming one with one. Now, I mean, that does make sense considering, you know, I mean, they also do have, there are rules that these teams have to go by. And I mean, Austin St. John is going through a lot of legal issues right now for a big felony crime. So, I mean, doing a head sculpt of him, I mean, we've had Austin St. John head sculpts already. So if you want to display the new and improved remastered red with his head sculpt, you'd have to use a past one. But I mean, go with the Rocky head sculpt if you want to do the morphed. I mean, go with the Rocky one probably. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not shocking that it's not coming with an Austin St. John head sculpt. I mean, for anybody that now thinks Wild Force Red could possibly have a head sculpt sometime in the future, this is definitely like clarified that Wild Force Red, we're not going to see him with the head sculpt. That's not going to be a thing. I mean, there are rules they have to follow, and unfortunately, sometimes you can't separate the character from the person that portrayed them, and you have to put that together and can't do a head sculpt of it. So, I mean, that definitely, obviously, it was shown there. It wasn't visually stated that there's no Jason head sculpt. But, I mean, we saw three, and we didn't see one for him. So, Jason head sculpt, it's not there. It's not coming. I mean, I personally don't really care. I don't use head sculpts. And even if I do it for them, I'd put Rocky because I much prefer Rocky as Red Ranger over Jason anyway. So, I'd go with Rocky on it. Overall, though. The Red Ranger, they showed Mighty Morphin Red with the Dragon Shield on. Now, this is a removable Dragon Shield and arm, armbands. So, if you're a huge fan of Boom Studios and you want to put that shield on your Pink Ranger Kimberly, you can go ahead and do that. Or, you can put it on Billy or we already have a Dragon Shield Black Ranger Zack. But, I don't think it came with the armbands. I'd have to check on my figure. But, I think it was just the shield itself and it didn't come with the Dragon Dagger. So, it's a removable shield, so you can put it on any of the remast, any figure of your choosing. So, you can go ahead and swap it out to another, but they also did fix the remastered Green Ranger from our original Green Ranger. You know, helmet showed off is better, the head sculpt of Tommy Oliver is so much better. You know, on each of them, we have those twirling, like, effect piece that I love, that's like, morphing energy i'm gonna go with like it's morphing energy you could see if you hold them in the morphing pose because they do have that wednesday 1 p.m eastern time the 19th that is when pre-orders are going up for remastered red green and pink now black they said it will go up at a later time so more to be heard on that i don't know why it's black that's the one that's being released last we'll have to wait and see but all of them are coming, and, you know, we didn't see back of the boxes for them. We saw a box for the Black Ranger only, but didn't get a look at the back. But I'm figuring, like, Trini and Billy, you know, we know they're all getting all three forms of the Blade Blaster. And they're all going to have their signature weapons. And then they, hopefully Red's going to have the morphing pose, even though it's, like, the morphing hands and the open morpher. Even though it's not coming with the head sculpt. That is my hope. But... Wednesday, we will see if we get a look at the back of the box when they go up for pre-order. So, you'll have to check it out then. I'll put it up on the channel Instagram page. I've already done posts for all of the figures that got announced today. But, that wasn't the end of announcements. We had the next Deluxe Wave. Deluxe Wave, what was it, 4 at this point? It was Rita and Minotaur Monster. So, we know Rita and Minotaur are both going to be in once and always. No, this is not Robo Rita or Robo Minotaur. It is the original Mighty Morphin Rita. Now, she was in the Wedding 2-pack. That's going for quite a lot these days. So I think it's amazing they did a solo release. And it definitely looks so much better than it did last time. I have the original one. This comes with three different facial expression head sculpts. So you can have different facial expressions for all of Rita's many facial expression looks. And it comes with their signature staff and a staff effect piece that looks absolutely awesome. I mean, this looks to be a really cool figure. 
So for those that missed out on Rita and that two pack, definitely put in your pre order for that. I believe the deluxe wave that's going up for pre order tomorrow, the 18th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the Mighty Morphin Minotaur Monster. Seen in episode three of Power Rangers, he comes with his signature shield and club. And for our first monster to be having this, he comes with a mini clay figure of himself. Go with your uh, nice Finster figure if you pick that up. I still have yet to. That's just hasn't been one I was in a rush to get. But if you got Finster, you're going to have the little clay Minotaur to go with him now. And he also has a cool new, brand new effect piece. It's a horn effect piece that goes like just in between his horns that on the top of his head. So it's definitely a pretty cool new one. You know, the Minotaur, they showed the scale of it. It's it's big as hell. I mean, they're in their monster scale. The monsters are usually in the 7-inch seven, seven scale around there. So he's in that scale, and he's a big monster just like our other ones have been. You know, Eye Guy, um, Pudgy Pig, Prontus Head. They've all been pretty big figures, and they've done well with the scale of those monsters. Now, there was one last thing that was said. The NFT Black and Gold Megazord. It was NFT locked. $200 for any of those that purchased it. I did not. I do not believe in F NFTs. Plus, I didn't really like the look of the Gold and Black Megazord. I already have Legacy Collection 1. It wasn't something I was going to spend the money on and pick up. It is no longer NFT locked. They are now available for order. On Hasbro Pulse, it was 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, just like with Wave 15. So it is now available for a pre-order. So not, yeah, pre-order. So anybody that wants one can go ahead and buy one out. And last I looked, it is still currently in, in stock for pre-order. It's not sold out yet. And it ships June 1st of this year. So it has the same release date as what Wave 14 is supposed to have, as well as Lost Galaxy Yellow, SPD Yellow, and the Alien Rangers. The Alien Rangers have been pushed back on Amazon, but they have not yet been pushed back on Hasbro Pulse. They're still currently set for June 1st, but since Amazon delayed it, there is the likelihood that they will be delayed on Hasbro Pulse as well. Now, this was it for announcements. This was definitely our most with. Counting the black and gold NFT Megazord being available for anybody, it was 12 things announced. I mean, that's usually the number we get with like PulseCon. So we did have a lot of announcements this time around. You know, pre order for black is much further down the way, but this was also our first time that pre orders were spread out across three days. And Wednesday, once and again, release 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when it comes out on Netflix. At 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll have remastered green, red, and pink, as well as Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence, the boar, the black boar ranger, and Miguel Diaz, the red eagle ranger, all up for pre-order. Now, go ahead, get those pre-orders in for Wave 15, and keep, keep an eye out for the pre-orders tomorrow for Rita and Minotaur, and the following day, for uh, those remasters and those Cobra Kai's, remastered green especially. I don't know, I think remastered green and pink have a high likelihood of getting that sold out real quick. And the remastered are all fan channels, you know. They're going to be on Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and Hasbro Pulse. So put your pre-order in with one of those sites. I go for Hasbro Pulse. And, and green and pink, I definitely think have a good shot being big sellers. I mean... That Kimberly head sculpt's fantastic. I mean, that's definitely a uh, great one. And the Green Rangers, absolutely fantastic. You see the white diamonds. They definitely revamped and did that figure correct this time. And he comes with the green candle. That's an awesome addition, too. So I love that they threw that in there. So, yeah, that's all for this video. I mean, that's what we got with the stream. I did really love it. I mean... Wave 15 was very intriguing. That was three figures, but, you know, three new teams. I mean, I'm not going to count Blue Centurion for Turbo. I'm not going to count that in there. For me, Turbo's just starting now with the team. So, 
We got three new teams. RPM, I'm absolutely ecstatic about. I mean, I hope teams I'm hoping to come soon is Super Mega Force now and Jungle Fury. Those are two teams I really like. Especially, I love Jungle Fury Red. He's a he's in my top five Red Rangers. So I'm hoping those two teams join the line soon. But I'm ecstatic about RPM and it being Summer Lands down. So yeah, overall, I think this was a great live stream. Emily brought back the, her time on Power Rangers with the bang. They did absolutely fantastic on the stream. Her, Jarrett, and John Warden. The thing that Jordan's special guest starred in was another figure of Power Rangers being added to the Selfie series. It is Mighty Morphin Black. And for all Pulse Premium members, you get 20% off on any Power Rangers Selfie series with a uh, certain code. So if you haven't gotten a Selfie series yet, you're a premium no member, go ahead and go do that. I got mine. I put mine on Lost Galaxy Red because Lost Galaxy Red is my favorite suit. So go ahead and get those pre-orders in on these figures. I mean, the ones that you can... Keep an eye out for Remastered on Wednesday once and again. And, yeah, let me know what you thought of this fan stream. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a fantastic one. So, they also addressed the quality control issues, which I think was very commendable that Emily brought that up with her new time of rejoining the line. That was fantastic to see that, you know, it is being acknowledged that she did address it and this stuff's being acknowledged. So I was very happy to see that. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all channel news and updates. And I'll be back with plenty more Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Tokusatsu content, especially once in always that is coming tomorrow i recorded this on monday but releasing it today so tomorrow is once and always so i will be here with a review video on that that will be on the channel within the next either wednesday when it premieres or thursday i'll be posting it up so be sure to watch watch the special watch my review video can't wait and see you soon with more content.